today I'm going to be doing a pellet penetration test using a block of modelling clay. I'll be testing the RWS Super Domes, RWS Super Points, RWS Super H Points, which are hollow point, and the Crossman Premier Hollow Points, and the H&N Field Target Trophy. This is the result of the H&N Field Target Trophy pellets. Um, it penetrated 18 centimeters into the clay. Um, the pellet itself uh, hardly deformed, and they look pretty much the same. The RWS Super H point split into two pieces. The first part went 16 centimeters, and the second part went 20 centimeters. Uh, this is what the pellet looks like after it's been fired. You can see the little ring that looks like it was the hollow point bit uh, that has actually completely come off the pellet. Um, yeah. The RWS Superdome went in 15 centimeters. Um, left quite a wide channel um, and the pellet the pellet hardly deformed the pellet on the right is actually the pellet that's been shot is just a bit shorter um, maybe a tiny bit wider but yeah it's hardly deformed at all The Crossman hollow point went in 18.5 centimetres and left a very narrow channel behind them. Uh, the entry hole is pretty small as well. Um, the pellet itself deformed very little, which is surprising for a hollow point, as they're not meant to do that. Um, it just shortened a little bit and went a tiny bit wider, but not much wider at all. Uh, I was disappointed because a hollow point is meant to expand quite a lot, uh, but this just didn't. And I'd say the RWS to um, hollow points did a much better job. The RWS to point went in 15 centimeters. It left a very wide channel behind it. Um, quite like the RWS Superdome. It has the largest entry hole of all the pellets um, and the pellet itself is also similar to the Superdome um, because there's hardly any deformation. Um, the pellet on the left is the one that's been shot. Um, as you can see it's a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit wider but apart from that there's very little deformation.